let's talk about the switch statement. So let's say you want to write a program that, uh, let's say, asks the user for his year, school year. I'm going to create a scanner. New scanner system in. Import that scanner. And then year is keyboard dot next int so I get the next int an integer from the user oh let's uh, before I do that let's ask the user to enter your year and uh, so let's assume the user enters an integer and it's gonna be you know one two three or four if it's one I want to print out um, Freshman, else if year equals two, I print out sophomore, else if, and I can now save myself a little bit, type in here, two, three, four, sophomore, junior. Senior. So hopefully this will work. I can run that into your year. Year is say two. Print out sophomore. That appears to work. So that's how you would do this with an if if an else if statement. There's another way to do this uh, using the switch statement. So I just say switch year. And then I say case one colon, and I'm gonna print a freshman. And then case two, sophomore, case three, Going to be junior, and then case four will be senior. So this code does what this other code does the same thing using the switch statement. Well, kind of does it. Uh, let me explain. So let's try that. And I can enter a year. Say I enter four. Ah, it works. Perfect, right? Well, not quite. Um, gotta do more testing. Let's try that again. I'm gonna enter a year. I'm gonna enter year two, and it prints out. Oh, sophomore, junior, and senior. So this is a little tricky part about the switch statement. What happens is the switch checks the year, and then if the year is one, it goes to case one does whatever it does, but then it continues. So in this case, the year was two, it went to year two, it, so it does this, and then it does this, and then it does this. So to get it to do what it was doing before, we have to use the break statement, break. And we're gonna have to put that in all these. And now the switch statement will do exactly what it was doing before. So when I enter two now, just prints out sophomore and then it's done. So that's the switch statement. The key thing to remember is putting the break in the switch statement. Also, the case part, this has to be a constant. So for example, say I had another variable, y is one, and I say, I'm gonna change that one with a y because you know it is one. Well, I cannot. Uh, Eclipse is already telling me that uh, Case expressions must be constant expressions. So it reminded me of that. So this expression here has to be a constant. Um, so these all have to be constants. And the year is a variable or something that evaluates to a number. Um, in the new Java 7, um, 1.7, this can be a string. So why should you use switch instead of if and else if? Uh, well, 
one reason is readability. So it is readability. How do you spell it? Uh, so when I'm reading the program and I see a switch statement, uh, I see switch year, I know because I know that the k's have all, all have to be constants. I know that a you know there's not I know what to expect. So there's nothing strange you're gonna be happening, no complicated cases. I know basically that this is we're gonna switch on the year and these are the specific constant values. Uh, on which I'm going to switch. So I have a better idea of the structure of the program using the switch statement. Uh, obviously, you can only do this when these are constants. So if else is more general, the, the conditional part in the if else can be anything. The second part is uh, performance. Second reason is because, um, so how is this implemented? So, you, you know, you might think that, for example, the way this works is the computer goes, takes the year, checks, oh, is the year one, then do this, then goes, oh, is the year two, then do that, then is the year three, do that, and, and so forth. Uh, and that's the way it would work if this was an if-else statement. But with because these cases are constants, the computer can actually, the compiler, can actually say, well, the year is three, so jump right to here. So what that means is, you know, when you have four cases, it doesn't matter, but imagine you had 4,000 cases. If you have to check the first, the second, the third, the fourth, all the way to 4,000, every time, you know, that takes a long time. It's a lot faster to just jump to case, you know, 2,048 um, in one step. And that's what the switch statement does. It'll just take the year and jump right to the particular case and just does one comparison and you're done. So that's it.